to Mrs. Galvin. You and your five children were evicted from your home. That was about nine months ago. We weren't evicted. We won against the owners. It was a slum house. Your complaint starts out reading as follows that you signed. Jamie and I were wrongfully evicted out of our apartment. We have five kids and a dog. That's what you wrote in your complaint. It meant to say they tried to evict us, but we won, but we agreed to move out. I just didn't know what words to put. I'm just telling you what you wrote in your complaint. And that was eight or nine months ago. You had a dog, this dog, that you couldn't take with you, and you put it in a kennel, right? Yes. Which kennel? Smith Kennels. It's a very nice one in Lancaster. It's a couple of little old ladies that run it. You knew the defendants. The defendants agreed to take your dog. She they did. asked us. They did. Take your dog. Yes. She's going to tell me the story that I'm going to believe. It's now nine months later. Miss Cruz says that when the dog came to them, the dog was in terrible condition. Nails hadn't been cut, so it was limping, matted, really not in good shape. How long had the dog been in a kennel? Oh, we had the dog. How long had the dog been in a kennel? A month and a half. And how much did you pay for this kennel? $15 a day. Was the bill paid? Yes. So the dog was in a kennel for a month and a half before it even went to the defendants? Yes. Now you want the dog back? This is what happened. Now, don't tell me. That's what the case is about. Yes. Since Miss Cruz has the dog, it's actually her daughter, is that right? Yes. How many times did you visit with the dog? Only a few. In what month? I don't remember dates exactly. Well, let's try to remember dates. That's what you're here for. September-ish, October-ish. They'd only had him for about a month when we went to visit a couple times. The dog looked pretty good to you? Looked just like he did when we gave her to except the hair was cut. You want to describe to me what the dog looked like when you got the dog after a month and a half in a kennel? Um, so basically I got the dog... I don't just listen to me. Oh, I don't want to hear the word basically. Okay. Or the word like. I want you to tell me what the dog looked like when you got the dog. The dog had two dreads behind each ear. He had a jacket of mats that I had to remove. And he had overgrown nails. Who went to pick up the dog at the kennel? Um, I'm assuming they did, because I didn't. Who volunteered to take the dog? Would that be you? I did, Your Honor. How do you know Mr. and Mrs. Galvin? Your Honor, we lived in the same apartment complex for over five years in uh, Canyon Country. That's how I began to know them through my mom. She was initially their okay, friend. Okay, so that's how you know them. Yes. What made you take the dog? My daughter needed externship credits for school. She's in the Animal Behavior College and she needed hands-on experience, so we asked them could we borrow their dog. And that was in what month? That was around May or June. Not true. I have evidence. Shh. <sighs> and that was when they were still living there? No, not in Canyon Country. The place they just got evicted from. That's where okay, they were they living. But they were living there, so you just yes, asked if your daughter could yes, have hands-on credit. The dog wasn't in a kennel at that time? No, Your Honor. Great. So the dog was at their house. Now. When initially. you took the dog for this hands-on credit, did you keep the dog at your house for any particular period of time? Um, it was just for the weekends because it was just like, you know, a weekend type of sleepover. Credit. Okay, so you kept the dog for the weekend and then you returned the dog yeah. to Mr. and Mrs. Galvin. And that was in May or June? Uh, yes. Don't say yes unless... Because when he had the mats, it was more towards February. No, and that's I understand. When I, was I understand that's when you got him from the kennel. I'm talking about when you got the dog from the kennel. When you took the dog for the weekend, is that when you're describing to me that the dog had mats and long nails? No, that's when he was staying with them at their home. And he was okay? Yeah. When he came to you for the weekend? Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Yes. After they got evicted from their apartment and the dog was in the kennel, what happened that inspired you to take the dog. Can I okay. actually answer that, Mom? Yes. Okay, so he was staying with us before he was in the uh, shelter that they put him in, and I, I didn't live in L.A. I lived in Palmdale, so um, sometimes when I come to L.A., I would have to leave him, and he couldn't, like, eat or use the bathroom without me being there, so he had, you know, used the bathroom all in the house, and I didn't have I don't sp- understand it. what time period you're talking about, so uh, why don't you let your mother speak? Yeah, okay. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> I can explain more better. In July, and I have the receipt right here to show that I started purchasing uh, supplies for the dog. They got evicted, Your Honor, and the uh, homeless hotel that they were staying in, that the county put them up in, was not pet friendly. At that time, I agreed for them to bring the dog back to my house out of the kennel with an elderly lady. It wasn't even a kennel. It was an older lady and her daughter. They were keeping the dog in a little tiny apartment. When the dog came to us, when he was matted, they sent him with a pack of hot dogs and sandwich meat. 